hello waiting for all to join as we start our weekly bible study on psalm 4 hope you are all enjoying the and getting closer to the presence of God as we learn the word of God together <clears throat> our God is precious he's wonderful isn't he and uh, at the start of this periscope I would like to once again ask you for your prayers for the ministry in Bangalore that God will bless us and cause us to be a beacon of light to the nations and uh, wonderful to see many loved ones joining praise the Lord Beulah nice to see you online and good that the gospel is reaching Saudi technology is powerful if you can write in your uh, suggestions your prayer points wonderful to see Muthu online from Finland wow Saudi and Finland is connected wonderful uh, if you can send a mail to info at shelterhouse.in it will be really good it will be really great if you can if you can really uh, let me know that you are blessed if you have a prayer request if you have that's a special ID which I will monitor the periscope uh, broadcast info at shelterhouse.in so uh, I request you to uh, send your prayer request and also help me uh, in letting me know your uh, your comments about Periscope so that we can take it to the next level. Psalm 4 we are going to check out today. Uh, all the other uh, Periscope sessions have been uploaded in uh, YouTube. You can go through that. It's, it's a wonderful study and because Psalms 150 uh, some 150 Psalms are there if we start meditating one per week it will take three years minimum for us to complete so my desire is that we will complete it quickly we would mm, do it quickly for those who missed Psalms 3 it's there in YouTube in our shelter house IPA shelter house channel I have put that there so you can go and refer it it's it's really wonderful all right now here we read uh, uh, in every verse there is a negativity and there is a blessing in a, uh, in every verse so we are going to go to eight verses in eight verses of Psalm 4 we read a positive situation and a negative situation now first verse says, Hear me when I call, O God of my righteousness. Thou hast enlarged me when I was in distress. Have mercy upon me and hear my prayer. So here David is telling when he was in distress. Distress is a negative situation. Nobody likes to be in distress. But many a time when we are in distress, God turns out that time to enlarge our situation. When you are going through tough times, we, we do not like to go through tough times most often but when you go through tough times it's it's that period of time where God will enlarge and expand your horizon what many of us do is we try getting out and escaping from those situations no what God wants us to do is to enlarge us as we started this year it's an year of enlargement through distress he may take you but one thing is sure in your distress when you cry out to the Lord he will enlarge your vision he will enlarge your horizon he will enlarge your territory he will enlarge your uh, frontiers so distress is the negativity there but when we pray he enlarges remember the prayer of Jabez 
He said, Oh God, that thou would bless me indeed. He was called pain. But when he cried out to God, he said, Lord, Oh, that thou would bless me indeed. Increase my borders. Enlarge my territories. Let your hand be with me. Keep me from harm and free me from pain. And God made him more honorable than his brothers. So in distress, cry out to God. In that negative situation, cry out to God. And I, 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 the word of God guarantees that he will enlarge your frontiers. He will enlarge your territories. Your pain is for, for, for somebody's gain. Your pain is for people to be blessed. So make sure that in distress you call out on the God of your righteousness. Hear me when I call, O God of my righteousness. Thou hast enlarged me when I was in distress. Have mercy upon me and hear my prayer. Hear my prayer. See, precious people, your life is determined by how much prayers are heard in heaven. Not by your bank balances, not by your education, not by anything else. The, the, the whole total of your life is measured by the prayers which God hears. When God hears your prayer, that's a blessing. That's a total, total blessing. So make sure that your prayers are heard. Because the Bible says in 1 John chapter 5, uh, if we, this is the confidence which we have. Let's take it because it's a Bible study. First John, uh, it says, uh, you can note it down. Uh, this is the confidence that we have. Uh, 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 in First John 5 and verse 14. And this is the confidence that we have in him. That if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he hear us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desired of him. So, when God hears our prayers, it's a guarantee that your prayers are answered. So, uh, make sure that your prayers, uh, uh, it's, it's, make sure that, uh, make sure that your prayers are heard. And dear brother is asking, how can you go flip the Bible? Take a Bible. No, don't go to Bible app. Hold this. Hold this. <laughs> I always tell my precious people of God to never leave this. Bible app is just an app. This is the Holy Bible. Write it, underline it, uh, and, and keep marking what God speaks. I like marking my Bible. I like my Bible so much. Look at my Psalm 119 page. It's marked everywhere. It's marked everywhere. So keep, keep track of it. So uh, read, read the Bible and, and meditate on it. So, Distress time, call on to God, make sure that your prayers are heard, it's time for enlargement. When you are in pain, when you are distressed, when you pray, God will enlarge. Second thing, second verse, it says, O ye sons of men, how long will you turn my glory into shame? How long will you love vanity and seek after other gods? So, here, there is a glorious situation, there is a glorious situation uh, in verse 2, that is the positive situation there. The negativity is people are not agreeing to the revelation which this psalmist has been uh, getting. How long will you turn my glory into shame? How long will you van love vanity? And it's also a reflection of the glory of God. The glory of God they are turning into shame and the shameful things they are turning it as glory. So in, in verse 2, there is a contrast between humans and divine. In 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 in, uh, in in God's eyes, in God's eyes, uh, the He chooses the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. He chooses the fools of the world to confound the wise. He doesn't choose smart people. He chooses foolish people to confound the wise. He chooses the despised things of the world to confound those who are strong. So. Uh, makes God's way of work is completely different. When you go to a company, they look at your skill sets. They look at your skill sets. They look at your uh, strengths. And when they look at the strengths, they will hire you. They will have an interview. But in, in the kingdom of God, it's different. He looks at your weakness. He looks at your... He looks at how broken you are. He looks at how how much willing you are give, you are you are able to let go of yourself and give your health, yourself totally to him. 
So, the glory of God, the people are turning into shame and they are loving vanity. That's what I told last week. Many a time, uh, many a time when, 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 uh, when you love vanity, it's, 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 see the beauty which we have is vanity the cars which we drive is vanity the houses which we live is in vanity i am now in coimbatore last year in the same time i came here it was quite cool today my car uh, temperature at 48 degrees i don't know whether it's true probably somewhere beyond 40 temperatures are soaring the earth which we see is vanity but what is the what what is the problem that we have we concentrate on vanity rather than eternity when we concentrate on vanity, our shame, our shame, uh, our, our glory will turn into shame. So it's very important that we seek God's glory. We will not have any other God other than our blessed Lord. He is God. He is our God. He deserves our thoughts. He deserves our worship. What's worship? Renewal of your mind. Think about God. To think about God always. To think about His ways always. That's worship. So, uh, the positive situation here is God's glory is being revealed. But people are putting it into shame. They are going into other gods and seeking after loving other than. The third verse we are going and says, But know that the Lord hath set apart him that is godly for himself. The Lord will hear when I call unto him. Now, in verse 3, there is no negative situation there. In, in verse 3, there is the element of choice. The element of God's choice. Verse 3, God has chosen you. He has set you apart for himself, not for anything else. When you got the call of God, it's a call for duty. Report for duty to your God report to duty it you might be in a company you might be in a mnc you might be somewhere working but understand the lord had set apart him that is godly for himself how do you know god's call is upon you your godly nature godly nature how see when we are humans we have the sinful nature in us sinful nature but when we are godly by the holy spirit he has set us apart for himself so that our praise the Lord's will make a difference. Our hallelujahs will make a difference. Our lives will make a difference. So uh, first we see distress and power of prayer. The second verse we read the power of seeking God's uh, glory uh, the, and the importance of seeking eternity. Third verse we read the power of choice god has chosen us god has chosen us so when we are godly see uh, when we many these days we see godly trying out to be worldly which is which is which is wrong we we, we needn't be we needn't be worldly we need to be godly that is the that is the uh, brief summary of psalm 3 psalm 4 and uh, one verse we read in first peter chapter see how can you be god godly in this corrupt world just just read second peter chapter 1 and verse 3 according as his divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness his divine power the anointing has given us everything to live a godly life to live a set apart life we are not called to mix around with people we are called to be distinct. God has set us apart so that we would praise His name. In whichever part of the world you are in, you are an ambassador of God. Through your prayers, He has many deliverances planned. Through your ministry, God has many things planned. He has set you apart for Himself. Don't forget the anointing. Don't forget the power of God inside of you. The power of God is important. Last conference, we had a man of God called Dr. Jabraj Samuel who came. I heard him praying in the morning. He was crying, Lord, fill me with your power. Fill me with your power. He was crying and crying and crying. I could not sleep that night. He was crying. He was crying, Lord, I empty myself. Fill me with your power. So when you ask God for more of his power, which is his anointing for his presence, you become more godly and, and you become content in life. Verse 4. 
because of that we have to stand in awe and sin not commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still stand in awe it's to, it, it it's a deep life of worship it's a deep life of worship so when you know the choice which god has on you you have no choice you will not sin you will not sin you will not debate is it okay for a new testament believer to sin or not sin not we have a mandate not to sin every every word what we speak we should be careful every thought that we entertain we should be careful everywhere we go we should be careful and usually when you and it says commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still you know in your bed you should make it as a as a time of worship as a place of worship as a place of deep worship when you lie down in your bed may at time look to bed to jump into the bed and just snore and sleep but what god has for you is not that he wants your heart to be tuned to heavens make it a time of uh, revelation make it a time where you commune with your heart to god make it a time where you connect to god and say lord how did my day go how how was i today stand in awe sin not commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still be still and when you do that when in your stillness what you do in verse 5 offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the lord so when you when you have a heart of worship you offer the sacrifices of righteousness you offer the sacrifices of righteousness slowly your good deeds will come upon you slowly your deeds of righteousness uh, you will do that sacrifices of righteousness how many of you know your worship is not just praise the lords and hallelujahs no it's the sacrifices of righteousness living a good life which is validated by the word of god everything today if you saw a poor man coming and you by your heart you were convicted to give him something that's righteousness that's a sacrifice of righteousness today if if you did something good that's a sacrifice of righteousness so in your bed <laughs> you can be transformed by the power of the holy spirit you can be just transformed and offer and put your trust in the lord so tonight when you lie down in your bed make it as a trustworthy moment for the lord you you put your trust in the lord Verse six: There may be many that say, "Who will show us any good?" Many that will say, "Who will show any good?" But the psalm is, "Lord, lift up thy light of thy countenance upon us. Lift thou up the light of thy countenance upon us." So, when we when we worship God, when we offer the sacrifices of righteousness, when we live a righteous lifestyle, we can pray with all uh, with with every. every cell in our uh, body lord let your light shine upon us let your light shine upon us let us walk in your light help us to walk in your light lift thou up the light of thy countenance upon us see we might be going through tough times but god uh, hallelujah says i will lift my light on your heart i will i will enlighten your heart i will enlighten your heart and 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 what is the secret when 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 you have the light of god's presence in your heart verse 7 thou has put gladness in my heart gladness in my heart there will be joy unspeakable many people put this joy as laughter and i i i'm i'm not again i am i'm not telling you just keep on screaming and laughing and yelling and you know all those things you will have the gladness in your life you will have that divine calmness and stillness and and gladness in your heart more than in the time than their that their corn and their wine increased see when holy laughter <laughs> uh, there is no holy laughter here in, in this in this psalm in this psalm in this psalm there are many attributes of a saint one you pray second you love god all right you pray you love god third you you again know that you are godly you are godly uh fourth you stand in awe you you have the lifestyle 
of no sinning you're you're communing in your own heart upon your bed as fifth you offer the sacrifices of righteousness you put your trust in the lord sixth the light of god will be upon you seventh blessing is gladness is there in your heart and uh, you know you have that excitement that joy in serving god then their corn and their wine increased means if you get a hundred million dollar in your account more gladness than that only god can put in your heart then in the time then their corn and their wine increased the joy of the lord is our strength exactly brother so gladness in our heart comes when his light is on our life when his light is on our life when his divine light is on our life and verse 8 the last blessing i will both lay me down in peace and sleep for thou lord only maketh me dwell in safety so uh, in the time when we go to sleep we do not know whether we wake up or not we do, many a time we think tomorrow morning we, we say good night and sleep we do not know whether we will wake up or not but when we are a godly man we will lie down in peace we will lie down in peace uh, figuratively this talks about the sleep physical sleep which we have but the spiritual sleep which is called you know when people of god die they are called sleep so in that time also it will be peaceful moments rather than uh, you know uh, fearful moments so i will both lay me down in peace and sleep for thou lord only make us me dwell in safety so the blessings of uh, a man of a psalmist or, or a man who prays that's what first there is enlargement in his life second you will seek after god third you will not the you will know the choice of god over your life and you will be godly fourth you will worship even in your bed you will worship you will commune commune in your heart fifth you will live a, a, a righteous lifestyle and you will trust in god sixth the light of god will be upon you seventh gladness will be upon you eighth safety who doesn't want all these blessings for that we should be a man of prayer 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 nothing else even if we do not know how to read sometimes we do not know one dear brother said we need to learn hebrew to understand the context many a time we do not know hebrew but the beauty is we can pray with our heart to the lord when you pray when you pray when you pray all these eight blessings come upon you enlargement you have you will seek after god third you will know your calling fourth you will have a life of worship fifth you will offer sacrifices of righteousness sixth the light of god will be upon you seventh gladness in your heart eighth safety i hope this blessing this study was a blessing to you psalm 4 let it ring in your heart i would say the main verses are three the lord hath set apart him that is godly for himself the lord will hear when i call unto him so when you know the choice when you know that you are chosen of of god whatever you hear god will answer see god delights to hear your prayer god delights to hear a godly man's prayer a godly man's prayer when you pray for the healing of sickness god will heal god will deliver there is nothing uh, significant about that it's only about your connection with god and verse 7 says thou hast put more gladness in my heart than physical prosperity than 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 anything which the world can give god when he shines his light upon you you have so much of contentment in your life you have so much of joy in your life you have uh, so much of happiness in your life and verse 8 wonderful see many rich people do not know to sleep they can't sleep but when we are godly when we when we hear our prayer when we pray to the lord he will cause us to lie down in peace he will make us to dwell in safety our hearts go to those people who have been affected in ecuador japan and all those places in mediterranean around 500 people lost their lives our heart goes out to them this night let's pray that he will keep us safe 
Wonderful. If you have any questions, two, two seconds, and then I would like to pray a prayer for you. If you have any questions, you can write it to info at shelterhouse.in. I would like to really see your feedback on Periscope sessions. Info at shelterhouse.in. Info at shelterhouse.in. Please mail me your prayer request. Your, your, if you like the Bible study, if you have any questions. Well, quickly, I would like to see if you have any questions and then I would pray for you from what we spoke tonight. Is there any questions? The blessings of a man of prayer. Blessings of a man of prayer. One, enlargement. One, enlargement. Two, you seek after God. Three, hallelujah. Well, I can understand some of your questions. Uh, you have the call of God upon you, the choice of God upon you. Fourth, when you pray, He hears. Fifth, His safety is on you. His gladness is on you. His countenance is on you. So all these blessings you have. So keep meditating Psalm 4. We will put this, uh, upload it uh, in YouTube very shortly. I hope all of you are clear. I would like to pray for you. Father, I pray for everyone who is watching this online. Your hand will be upon them. Your strength will be upon them. Only Jesus can save our sinful life. Lord, set apart people, a godly generation for yourself. Help us to be godly in this generation by the power of your Holy Spirit. Touch us and fill us. If anybody is going through a breakdown, financial breakdown, I pray that you will enlarge their territory as they pray right now. Call out the name of Jesus and he will enlarge your territories. God will shine his light on you and you will have more gladness than any accumulation of wealth. Right now, lift your hearts. Open your hearts in the name of Jesus. I speak your healing, your protection, your salvation upon your people. Let your people be blessed. Lord, I pray that like the psalmist, we will have the joy of seeing the light of your countenance upon us. Wonderful Savior, beautiful Savior, touch everybody who is watching us live at this moment. Your hand will be with them. Your protection will be with them. Cover them with your precious blood. Whatever be their need, meet their need, O God. Meet their need and they will never be the same again. In Jesus' name, Amen, Amen, Amen. All right, God bless you. Wonderful Spirit of God, isn't the Holy Spirit so powerful? He's, he's so, he's so wonderful. Jesus is precious. And uh, if, uh, if we need to, uh, please let me know your suggestions. Info at shelterhouse.in So, I think this week we will have this much. Next week we will join from Monday. Uh, Psalm 5, 6, 7, 8, we will keep going whenever you are free. Uh, join us. May the Lord bless you. May, may the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. When is Psalms 5? Anytime, precious brother. <laughs> anytime. Probably from Monday. Whenever the Holy Spirit stirs out our heart. Every Thursday we will have this. That is sure. But... If we keep it only Thursday, I will take three years to complete Psalms, which we cannot do. So, uh, probably this time or early in the morning, you can let me know your suggestion. You can let me know your suggestion. Well, a lot of people joined from different parts of the world. Don't forget, I like to receive your email. Email, uh, that's a simple thing to uh, recognize that you are hearing me. Info at shelterhouse.in right away, if you can send me. And let me know if you want me to continue this periscope study. It will be really helpful for me. So please write it. God bless you. Shalom. Enjoy your evening. Remember, His light is over your life. Shalom. God bless you. Mara Nathan.